Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation, and for today's episode, we're gonna be going over the usual weekly updates that's come out this week. Let's quickly take a look at the notices. The first one being, and we might as well just get it out of the way real quick, is going to be uh, the VIP deal that we have for this week, which is going to feature this week's VIP medal. And we have the golden ticket like usual. The world ends with you art three, which is basically just the speed version of the key art 18 that we received like two, three weeks ago. Not gonna lie, these medals are honestly really good. <laughs> Um, it helps if you got ni nice traits on them as well, of course, but uh, even just stand alone by themselves. These medals are really good, primarily because of the fact for two reasons. One, because of the fact that they're completely self-sustaining. Uh, the fact you can literally slap them on any slot on any keyblade that matches their attribute or worst case scenario you can just put them in the pet slot um, and they will be completely fine by themselves heck you could have a completely empty keyblade and have just that metal and it would be just fine uh, just because of the fact it provides all of the buffs and debuffs needed uh, for a metal to do max damage which is fantastic the second reason as well being that it provides 10 counters which is currently the most amount of counters you can gain with it in the game the only other metal that can do that is of course key art 18 which we received uh for the lat for the previous uh vip's medals and stuff now even though this metal right here and key art 18 aren't technically the strongest medals in the game they are some of the strongest right they are really strong at seven star okay even amongst the six stars there's some of the strongest within the six stars okay um and it, it's even gotten to the point and that's its artwork and such i don't know if it shows the ability there it is it's gotten to the point where like i like even for myself i did it with qr18 but i've even been recommending people who've gotten this medal like this is very easily a potential candidate to actually make seven star compared to other hard hitting metals like Psyx Plus. I know for me, um, I when before I evolved my Psyx Plus to seven star, uh, I still had my Psyx Plus. It has extra attack on it. It was still at six star, and I was contemplating whether or not to evolve my Psyx Plus or my Kr18, which is just this this metal right here just you know magic version and i chose to do my key r18 just because of the fact it has more utility out of it uh, which is just universally more usable throughout the entire game compared to looking at just pvp i know a lot of people's first pri like priority in terms of thinking about evolving to seven star is going to be towards pvp but what i recommend is trying to think about things on a universal aspect rather than just pvp okay pvp does help but you also want metals that you evolve to help for the rest of the game too unless you have to be overflowing uh <laughs> with evolution fairies and stuff like that or you're just a top player and you can easily get them back really quickly uh you definitely want to consider like the game as a whole rather than just like pvp but aside from that like i mentioned before in terms of vip we are getting the golden ticket back this week i don't know how long they're planning to do this for as as far as i can tell i think they're just going to be including gold tickets and like in vip from now on and stuff it's definitely been happening for quite a while i i don't know part of me does feel like they are gonna like take it out at some point but whether or not they actually will i'm not too sure I think it's just mostly because of the fact I'm still, part of me is still not like completely used to it. But other than that, we are getting the Magic Moons and Mirrors quest back again. One thing I do have to say I truly love about VIP now though, is that they finally, <laughs> like, like if I, if I just go to the, the quest real quick, they finally combined all of the VIP quests all into one quest because it's been super tedious having to do all seven quests for both the brooms and the mirrors all at once. Okay, now they didn't necessarily have to combine it all in just one thing. It's it's a nice touch. I really appreciate it. Okay, like it's just one quest now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> but I would have been fine just as much uh, if they just simply combined all of the magic quests and just one quest and all of the broom quests into one quest. I would have been fine with that too. But I mean, this is just better. Uh, I've been wanting this for the longest time as I'm sure many of you who get VIP have been wanting for a long time as well. 
Uh, to me, it never made sense why they haven't just did it yet. Uh, the only thing I can think of in terms of this is that maybe it might have been some kind of like coding technical issue, which doesn't really make too much sense to me because I would think it would just be kind of, you know, just a like number adjustment, at least like from the coding knowledge that I have. So I don't know. I feel like this update has kind of a little overdue, but nonetheless, I do appreciate the fact that it's finally out. And to wrap things up, we're also getting into Times 2 gems, just like usual as well. Uh, moving on. This week for Union Cross, we are getting the Starlight Boosters, along with some of the uh, Lucifer Avatar parts for your player. Uh, now, for anybody who is wondering, we did get Luc uh, Lucifer parts beforehand, but I believe that was for the pet, and I think this one is actually for your player character. Um... If not, you know, vice versa. It, it might be switched for all I know. But nonetheless, it's, it's supposed to be for your other, you know, part. Whatever. Other character. The main thing to note, though, is going to be the Starlight Booster. Uh, in case you aren't aware uh, by now, starting tomorrow for PvP, we are going to be using the Diamond Dust, Three Wishes, and Starlight as our Keyblades for PvP this week. So... If you want a if you want a nice jump start in the rankings for PvP, definitely make sure you get those boosters today, so that way you can be prepared for when PvP comes around tomorrow. Next up, we have the weekly raid event. Honestly, I kind of hate these. <laughs> uh, realistically, these are not too different from the regular weekend raid bosses that we would normally have. Uh, the only difference being that they're now available throughout the week instead of just the weekend. Uh, I kind of feel like they might be experimenting with these a little bit. I'm not too sure about that. I mean, because they, they do tend to experiment like pretty often in terms of like different stuff to see what works, what doesn't work. But I don't know. Part of me kind of feels like with like the weekly rate of it on top of like the event stuff, like the monthly event stuff that they're doing. It, it kind of gives me the impression that they're trying to create um, consistent like content in their own way without actually ha having to put too much effort into creating the content if that makes sense um it just feels like it still feels like repetitive content that's not actually truly content but like in some way it kind of is it it just feels weird uh i don't know how to describe it hopefully some of you guys understand what i'm trying to say here um but i don't like at least for me i don't like the fact that these raid bosses are only available during the bonus times during the week and then on weekend they're just open 24 7. i would much rather them just be open 24 7 uh like all seven days of the week that i would just much rather have that in instead uh, one so that way i can get the, the the boards out of the way it's kind of annoying and aggravating to have to like only get parts of it th like throughout the whole thing because at least for me i don't know about you guys i like seeing the 100 percent completion uh tag like on the main menu and stuff like if i just go to quest i like seeing the 100 percent completion on like as many of my things as possible i still need to uh, finish proud mode like all of this mini objectives uh, within the proud mode to get my story up to 100% but it, it really annoys me not being able to see it 100% in my like events section for example uh, even including the monthly like event stuff that I was talking about like even just like the event coin stuff just because of the fact I'm not able to complete the those boards just yet just because there's not enough event quests out to do so Part of that just aggravates me a little bit, at least at least just from being like a super long time player <laughs> to be able to get to that point. It just, I don't know, it's, it's just a little pet peeve of mine, but that's just me personally. Talking about the event coins and monthly events though, we are getting the turn-based challenge and it'll last up until the 14th of this month. Uh, you can get event coins from this. Uh, what I do recommend for all you guys is the first things that you should get from those event boards uh, using the event coins is going to be those boosters. Those are pretty much the first things that I got. In terms of which boosters you should get, I like. I know there's three of them. Last week we had for PvP power. Um, this week we're going to have magic after today. So like tomorrow we're going to basically have magic setups and such. Okay. 
in case you haven't already gotten some of these boards, I highly recommend getting the ones in who are related to your strongest metals, okay? For PvP anyways. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be the same attribute that the Keyblades are going to be matching. So like this week is going to be magic. You don't necessarily have to get the magic for this week. Uh, if you're, let's say, your strongest metals are power metals, okay? You should by far get the booster that matches your strongest metals first because that's where the majority of your damage is going to be coming from, okay? The second thing should then be your second strongest or the actual, like, PvP weeks type of uh, keyblades or attributes and such, okay? Um, so in this case, like for me, for example, I happen to actually match up alongside uh, the attributes for PvP and such, which was kind of a coincidence, but even if it wasn't so, like for me, my strongest medals as of right now for PvP was actually power, which kind of, by coincidence, matched up with the theme of last week's PvP. Now, even if last week's PvP wasn't power-based, I still will have chosen power just because my strongest medals are power. The same thing applies to this week. My second strongest attribute is magic, so I was going to chase after magic regardless. And it just happens to happen that this week is magic-themed, okay? However, if for you, if your strongest attribute is speed, okay, pick speed because that's where the most majority of your damage could be coming from and then go after magic for this week's pvp uh keyblade thing one last thing i want to mention real quick before i end this video is that in the shop the stained glass medals are ending today so if you had any plans to try and pull for any of them now is the time to do so it is also worth noting as well that the supernova sephiroth banner does not come with any seven star medals okay let alone that are even that are tier six and higher that come with skills such as like what the stained glass medals actually do um not only are they good medals to actually obtain and use within the game but they will also help towards the sub slots for your keyblades to help make those stronger uh, personally for me i believe that the stained glass deal has way more value than the actual uh sephiroth and cloud banner actually does i am firmly still standing behind the fact that you should only pull once from the cloud banner just to get your guaranteed version of cloud and then skip it okay and then wait for something else we are almost definitely going to be seeing a notice sometime tonight in terms of a new banner as to what it could be i'm not too sure but i guess we'll find out soon but other than that, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It is the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. Uh, by all means, let me know what your opinions are in the comment section down below in terms of uh, some of the event stuff and, and whatnot that I mentioned in the video. But my name is Brian from Kinemotoon Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.